Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome once again my friends out there in the wonderful world of television land how are you guys how's the family how's the friends how's the cousins how's everybody hope you are all fine and well welcome to season two of Ikra Kids TV not only do we have the usual features yeah we've got you know we've still got like let's see the world where we've gone all over the place to see amazing things we've all still still got yeah yeah we've got muslim heroes as well yeah talking about amazing people that did amazing things throughout history and of course we've still got the random art show showing you how to do a bit of drawing do a bit of coloring a bit of shading stuff like that but not just that we've added to our roster of amazing shows <laughs> we've got abc of islam where i've been looking all over the planet and i mean all over the planet for those elusive letters that my future self has sent to us quite confusing what's gonna happen when all those letters are found oh i'm sure we're gonna find out as soon as possible we've also got muslim maestros now muslim maestros is about going into our community speaking to talented individuals that are doing fantastic work in and outside of the muslim community and we've sat down we've spoken to them and we have interviewed them and it's all coming up soon we also have the new feature kun fire kun with professor ikra and of course Make sure he's not here as well. <laughs> Kid Bilal featuring things that you see every day like satellites. Well, you don't see satellites, but things like TVs, microphones, microwave ovens. How do they actually work? How does the sun work? Mm. Well, if you watch Kun Fire Kun, how things work, they'll tell you all about it. Right, before we get on with the show, let me set today's question. Hmm, I want to make it a bit more challenging for you. Who was... <laughs> The second to last prophet. <gasps> Who was the second to last prophet? Mm, don't have to send it in to us. Yes, you can see the QR code. Yes, you should click on it, but you don't have to send your answers when you go to our Instagram page. Just go over there, make sure you follow us and like. And if you've got any comments or feedback or anything you'd like to send in, like your amazing artwork, or if you've got an idea for Kun Fire Kun that you think, I'd like to know how this works and that works, we will feature it. All you need to do is let us know on that page. Okay, so the question again before we go for the show is, who was the second to last prophet? We'll find out together in a while. But for now, let's get on with the show. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome once again to Random Art Studio. We are going to continue our trip, our voyage of ex discovery and excitement into the world of digital art. Now today I want to show you some of the bits that I have done using this exact package as well. Every time I do an illustration, people always say, the first question people say is what did you use to draw it with? What application did you use? As if that makes a difference. It really doesn't too much yes of course if you bought an application that is worth or costs like three grand of course it's going to be able to have some kind of features that are going to be super amazing some kind of ability to upload to servers or to go directly onto youtube or directly so it's going to have some of those amazing features that you can integrate different packages into it true so that might be a difference that you can expect but basically if you strip away all of that amazing uh capabilities the basicness of it doesn't really matter which application you're using whether you're using illustrator coral draw if that still exists all of these high-end applications for drawing images and things of that nature they are still gonna have the basics and no matter what you use as long as you can use the basics you can still achieve something interesting 
okay? Before we dive into it, guys, I want to remind you that this is our QR code. You need to make sure you hit it right now with your phone. I don't mean chuck it at the telly. <laughs> that would be funny, isn't it? Chucking your phone at the telly. Not a good idea. You know what I mean? Whip out your phone. Try and just get it on your phone as if you're taking a photograph. It will take you directly, inshallah, to our Instagram page, Ikra Kids TV. Go over there as well, share, follow, like, and comment on some of our pictures. We've got all kinds of goodies on there as well, and there's more to come. And some of that could be your artwork. If you inbox us, your artwork, whether it's digital or traditional, we don't care. We want to see what you've got up your sleeve, what talent is out there. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't hide your light under a bushel. Make sure you send some of your artwork in. And who knows, you could even be here in the studio with me. We'd love to have you. Right, let's move on to today's show. Right, we're going to switch quickly over. Oh, there you go. Quickly over to an illustration that I'd done not that long ago. Now, it looks almost as if it's been done with something called Photoshop because it's got all these lovely colors and all these blingy bits as well. But I promise you, all of this, even all these details in his eye here, this robot, the fact that you can see that the back here is blurred out a little bit, his arm is blurred out, uh, the wings of his uh, thing that he's flying with is blurred out. All of this, this light here, this shiny bit on him here, all of it is been drawn in this package. Look at the texture on his leg here, all on his leg here, on his body, all of this texture on his face and his mouth there, all of it has been done inside of Inkscape. All of it, okay? So if I'm able to do something as simple as this using um, a basic free absolutely free application that you need to make sure you get permission from your parents or your guardians before you download something like this on your tablet or your PC. Once you get this free application, you can do things like this as well. But you have to practice and you have to love what you do because otherwise it's gonna get mighty boring, okay? You can see up here, there's a piece of his head <laughs> that I've been working, that I worked on initially. And you can see, I've just dragged it over. You can see all of those patterns on his head there. This is the same shape. If I drag it over here, it's the same shape as his head, right? And I've got this pattern on top of it here and that pattern could go on top there. But I didn't use this one. I used the one that is already there now. I used that one instead. There's a difference to it, but I won't go into the details for now, but there is a difference to it, and why I chose that one instead of that one. All of these pieces, they're all, now if I click on it, now this is where it's gonna get a bit crazy, and I'm gonna show you some of the bits. I'm gonna pull it apart, some parts of it, see what happened. So we've already pulled off this bit of texture on his head. Cool. What about this cog on his head? That's a separate piece. There's another cog here. That's a separate piece. The redness, or oh, this white light here, that's a separate piece. Okay, what about his head in general? Of course, that's a separate piece. He's got these three stripes on his head. Oh, there has got that bit of white there. He's got these three stripes here, they're all joined together. They've all been grouped together. So they're all separate pieces. You've got some shady thing here. I'm not sure what that is. I know what it is, but I don't want me telling you, right? Then his eyes. He's got that white thing there and he's got some other bits here. So you can see all of these pieces are all separate pieces that make up the whole. Even the little computer bits inside of his eye there, they're all separate pieces. See, I'm just dragging a sort of, I should have kept count of how many pieces they were. Again, all the way down to the bare bones. Same with this eye. Drag that eye over. That's all grouped together, so I don't have to worry about the pieces. And that bit there, his mouth is one piece. No, it's two pieces. That's the inside of his mouth, the pattern, and that's the outside. Then you've got the white line on the side of his face. Where? Kid 
still out. Are you ready to try and find me once again? You need to have a very, very sharp eye to check me out. Okay, let's get to it. Right, let's see where we are today. Ooh, this is an interesting place. Oh, we have got time to talk. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Oh, what's going on? All right, then. Um, uh, oh, this one's a hard one. What are they trying to do to us? <laughs> Confusing us. Oh, time's up. Okay, next one. Um, oh, um, maybe you can see me, but maybe you can't. All right, wait. Time to move on. Right, what's this? Uh, um, well, that looks like the same one to me. What's going on? <laughs> trying to trick us. Right, what's all this then? Uh, yeah. This one looks like it's just deserted, mate. I don't know what's going on with that. Right, here we go, another one. Oh, these ones are really hard, are they? Or oh, are they? If you look carefully, you might see me. <laughs> right, what's happening? What's he looking at? Is he looking for me as well? Because I still might be there somewhere. Who knows? Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, another hard one. Oh, gosh, I need magnifying glass and binoculars. <laughs> right, let's have a look here again. Uh, hmm, maybe you see me peeking out somewhere very slyly. Right, what's going on here? Oh, all oh, them rocks. Maybe I could be hiding somewhere around there. You tell me. <laughs> right, what's going on here? Uh, more rocks and a slide. I'd love to go on that slide, but I'm too busy hiding. <laughs> Right, what have we got over here? Hmm, looks like I'm at the seaside, except there's no water. <laughs> Hope it starts raining. Right, what's happening here? Uh, what's he doing now? Oh, 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 is that me on his, on his shoulder? Oh. <laughs> right, what have we got over here? Hmm, oh, this one's a... Oh, oh, I'm up in front of the air. <laughs> right, here we go again. Oh, wow, these guys are really testing our skills on this one, isn't it? Goodness me. Right, guys, did you find me? I hope you did. Stay tuned for more. Where is Kid Bilal? Take care. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Bye. System one loaded. Right, the show is going along very nice, but I thought we'd just draw some breaks for a second and we need an answer to that question. Who was the second to last prophet? Did you say Isa? Jesus, peace be upon him, is absolutely correct. Well done, guys. Right, let me give you another question. We'll find out the answer when we get back at the end of today's show. Who was the first person to make the call to prayer? <gasps> Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. I hope it's on the tip of your brain. Keep that answer in there. We're going to find out together what answers you've got and see if it's right at the end of the show. But for now, let's get on with the show. Initiating system one. System one loaded. And a light up shade on his face and then you've got the face itself how many pieces were those just to make the face now all of this has been done in this application and it's like everything's been exploded all the bits are out are everywhere so I'm gonna bring it back to the original by hitting control Z it's gonna go back in time and reassemble everything because I'm undoing all the moves I made what about his arm Khalil is his arm the same let's click on it Okay, there you go. There's something there. I don't know what it was, but it's moved it. That bit, that beam of light there. That beam of light there. Oh, his arm here. I think it's been grouped together. So I'm going to go to Control U to ungroup it. I think it's separate pieces, or it might be a piece of. Yep, it's all separate pieces. Look. <laughs> So you can see how you can make up an image. What happened? Ooh. Uh oh, my pictures, I've, I've clicked on something and I've disappeared. There it is, right back to where we started. I clicked on something by accident. Let's move these bits up like that. More bits here. All of these separate pieces make up just his arm. And his arm here, I'm not sure if that is one piece as well, or it's a grouped piece. There you go. It's coming apart. And you can see all the different pieces that I used to create his arm and everything. What about his stomach here? He's got this A on his chest. That's a piece there. That's a piece there. That's a piece here. The outline, the white outline, the cog on his chest. The same way he's got one on his head. There's that shadow for his arm there. There's a white bit on here. There's some patterns on this side of his stomach there. 
there's a white part here. There's a dark part here. The, the belly's got that dark bit there. And then the stomach itself. And then you can see behind it. Same with his belly here. That part here. That pattern here. So you see, once you can see how somebody has put something together, it gives you an idea of how you can start doing the same thing. You can start building up your pictures using all the basic techniques that I've showed us so far, not to mention all the skills we've learned traditionally as well. That's why all of the skills we've learned in terms of shading, coloring in, getting, trying to create a volume, trying to create a weight and um, three-dimensionalness of an object, all of those skills can, will and must be utilized in illustrations like this as well. Even if you're not using a vector image generator like Inkscape and you're using something like Photoshop or GIMP, right? You still need those basic skills. That's why it's not a good idea to try and jump ahead so much and do too many complicated things because you need to understand the basics the basics of what makes an image good, what makes it work, what makes this part look that, that part, and what makes the image look as if it's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, again, I've started dis disassembling his leg here and these things here. Look at that, every little piece is a separate drawing, literally. See, all of those little pieces, I'm just pulling it apart. There you go. Down to the basics, and you can imagine I started, if I just grab all of these and move them to one side, I started that with just his leg. <laughs> with just his leg. And then added those bits on top, I added those bits, let me show you. All those bits had to be drawn and put on top. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bring the pattern back, there's a pattern. Okay, let's go back and reassemble all those pieces by undoing, by hitting Control Z, and all those pieces should come back now. See? Now, I could do a speed painting, meaning as do one of these, take my sweet time about it, and then we'd speed it up to show you how I add things. We may do one of those at some point, but not today, okay? And that is, um, these are just some of the other images that I, I have for this particular book that I did an illustration for a book. And here is the same robot again, his name is Azmat. Again, made of all these separate pieces, the cog on his head, the helmet, the light in his eyes, his wings at the back here, the trail from his jets, the A on his chest, the little girl, there's a little girl right there. <laughs> Rahima, right? Rahima's on his shoulder there. Go to show that this is indeed a giant robot. Okay, let's go further up. There's another image here of the same robot, Azmat, flying through the city. And all the tiny people there are shouting at him, hello there, and he's saying, woo. And there is the little girl, Rahima, on her sky jet. Okay, just chilling out and she's zooming by. Okay, what I want to do now is show you some of the other images that I've used, I've created for the same book. So I'm going to open up these images now to show you. There is one of them there. Whoopsie daisy, here we go. All right, then let's get rid of this. Uh, okay, here's another one I wanted to show you. I forgot about this one. I had it open already. This is exactly the same way that I created that last one. It looks so complicated because you're seeing the end result now. Okay, but if I start again, start picking it apart. Let me just make sure I ungroup everything. F is kind of, this other robot is shooting like a web and he's caught in a web, he's shooting him with a laser or something. So let's click on this, see what happens if I start pulling things apart. There's a gray line on top. Let's grab this. That's part of the web. Like that. Uh, let's grab his head. See what, oh, that's the beam from his, the guy's chest. This robot is called Thunderbird. And we've got the light here coming from his chest. And his, the robot's Azmat's head. You can see all the pieces, his wings, flight wings. All of the pieces, I've had to draw them individually and put them into place. 
Whoa, yeah, it took me a while. Yeah, it took me a while, but I love what I do, so it's all good. Why is this thing jumping up on me? Right, let's just turn that off and go back here. I want to show you some of these images. These images also appear in the book as well. This is uh, Rahima with her brother, and you can see all the spare parts of the robot as Matt. This is where she meets the Sheikh. <laughs> Again, I drew her very quickly, but this image, the reason why there's not much detail is because this image will be very small in the book. So I didn't do too much detail on that one. Here is one where they've outfitted Azmat with new rockets and stuff like that as well. And she's looking up at him there as well. He's in the distance. And I put this kind of diffused kind of texture on it, all in the same application. Here is the one that we've just looked at where he's been attacked by the robot Thunderbird. So you can see there, guys, we're going to draw this one to a close. You can see how the images that we've created, how they're made from tiny little pieces, all these tiny little pieces are created and put together to create an image like what you've got on the screen here as well with Azmat being attacked by Thunderbird. It is doable, but we have to take baby steps before we can get to that. And you know what? We've already taken those baby steps in regards to some of the things we've done before with the crayons, with the markers, with the felt tip pens, with the coloring pencils. We've already taken those steps. So we just need to make sure we remember all the things we've been taught and use all of those skills and use our imagination to create images like this. Whoa! Right guys, I'm going to call it quits for now, but I'll speak to you soon with more of our amazing digital artwork. For now, take care. Asalaamu Alaikum. Hit that QR code. And another show done and dusted. More amazing features, more education, more art, more features. That's what we want. We want your ideas to make our show as good as possible. Now you can email us, of course, info at ikra.tv or if you hit that QR code on our screen right now, even from the comfort of your sofa, you can go directly to our Instagram page and over there you can inbox us after you've liked and shared all of our bits and pieces, you know what I mean? You can inbox me directly there, DM me directly there and we will hear your feedback as well. Oh, Khalil, I want to know how shoes work when you put them on and they work and it what's a big deal oh i want to know how televisions work ah oh, well if you do have an idea if you're curious about something and want to know how it works inbox me right now we'll sort it out with the two presenters wherever they are right my friends thank you so much for checking us out this day speak to you soon salam alaikum <laughs> TV.